Hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, lads and lasses. This is the big one, the November income report for 2022. Uh, before we jump into it, I just want to say apologies for um, the complete lack of uploads and radio silence on here. I literally completely sacked off YouTube for the last month. Um, for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you'll already know um, I've traveled back from Asia, um, back in the UK now, um, so I spent most of my time looking for somewhere to live and also once I did find that moving all my stuff in so a lot of my time in the last month has gone on to life admin and anything to do with the actual KDP business itself has been spent on the publishing side of the business with it being Q4 and so important to get that side of the business right for what is the busiest time of the year as you will see. But hopefully going forward, um, you'll start to see more regular videos on here. I'll be doing hopefully one or two videos every single week going forward. Um, so you can kind of implement a lot of the things you're going to be learning in these videos and on Twitter. Um, so hopefully hit some of these numbers like I'm going to show you um, in Q4 and November next year. So I won't take up any more of your time and we'll jump straight into the numbers itself. So we'll just jump into Data Sprout here, which is the extension that I use. As you can see, I generated royalties of tw just over £12,000 from 4,301 units sold with a daily average of £401 royalties um, per day. So a really, really successful month. And for those of you that don't really know uh, at the moment, Q4 essentially is the final quarter of the year. And in KDP terms, this is kind of like the, the holy grail um, of the year. This is when loads of people are buying books for Christmas presents and gifts and all this sort of thing. So you do see a massive spike in your sales especially um, from your resting heart rate numbers, which mine's around about 5,000, 6,000 pounds a month, kind of normal months. Um, so it's definitely an evident spike you can see here in these November numbers. So as I said, 12,033 pounds um, in terms of royalties from 4,301 units, which gives me a royalties per unit of two pound 80, which is actually a little bit of a drop from uh, this time last month. But again, if you think everyone's buying gifts um, for people, they spend a little bit less money on gifts than they might do for themselves. So this drop in royalties per unit is kind of not really too surprising. Um, and actually it's only three pence, so I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. Now the next question, I'm sure you're gonna be screaming at your computers or your phones or whatever you're watching this on is, royalties mean nothing if your ad spend is really high. I agree. But fortunately this month I had a bit of a weird one with my ads. Um, I won't go into too much detail because it will be a whole video in itself to explain that. But I actually had to cut a lot of my ads and reduce my ad spend. So although my royalties could have been a lot awful lot higher had I kind of plowed loads of money into ads. And um, I've kind of toned down it this month which means my profit margin is higher which is definitely a not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I kind of just have to find the balance between the two. So in terms of my ad spend, my UK ad spend, I spent £1,031 on ads, so just put £1,031 in there. And then in terms of my US ad spend, $747. So if we just go seven for seven, so £610 on US ads, which comes to a total of just over £1,600 on ads, which gives me a profit of £10,392 for the month. So like I say, this probably, this and the royalties number probably could have been a lot higher had I not had to kind of pull back on my ad spend. You can see my ad spend actually is pretty much the same as it has been for the previous months, which for a Q4 month is quite a surprise, but I'm not really too bothered because it means my profit margins are an awful lot bigger. So not too bothered about that. So £10,392, I'm really, really happy with for the month. And in terms of the actual ACOS, as you probably already predict by now, with royalties at that and such a low profit, uh, such a high profit margin, my ACOS is probably going to be pretty profitable, but we're just going to calculate that now in this spreadsheet. So my UK ad sales were 4,196. So we'll just drop that in. And then my US ad sales were $2,522, which translated to UK is £2,060. So £2,060. So I had an overall ACoS of 26.23% for the month, which is actually really good. Uh, my break-even ACoS is around 30, 36%, so a 10% margin there, which is really healthy, especially for this time of year when you're potentially putting a lot of money into ads. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. So that's a very quick summary of my November royalties for KDP. If you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like. And also, if you want to see a lot more tips um, on how to kind of replicate these numbers, um, follow me on my Twitter account and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll leave my Twitter uh, link in the description below. And as I said, I'm hoping to upload a lot more in on YouTube going forward. So hopefully we'll be able to give you the information, kind of the, the knowledge that you need to replicate some of these numbers. So hopefully next Q4, this can be you having these sorts of numbers. But thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.